guys, happy January, and most importantly, happy new year. We know it's New Year's. It's been New Year's for like weeks. Okay, back to what I was saying. Times like winter break and the holidays are the best. We get to chill out, no school, and actually have fun. Movies, bowling, and most importantly, sharing some of this with our friends. This past year has definitely been a different one for me because I have a whole new set of friends that I did not have the year before that. 2015 was a dark period. So today I want to do a video dedicated to all of my friends, old and new, called Types of Friends. If you recognize yourself or one of your friends in this video, leave me a comment below. Which one are you? So the first friend I have is the super uncaring friend. They just don't really give a crap about about anything. This person is usually older, super cool, and really chill. Those are technically both words to describe the same thing, but like, you know what I mean. They seem to know exactly who they are and they don't have a problem showing it. If they are a girl, they can chill with the guys as well as with the girls. They aren't afraid of telling someone or flipping someone off. For the most part, they always speak their mind without caring what anyone else says. Everyone looks up to them so much. Sometimes even to the point of thinking that they have no faults. But they do. They have their insecurities and the things that they struggle with that you wouldn't even know. I wish I could say that I was his friend, but I just don't really think that I am. No, definitely not. Farthest thing possible. You could never pull it off. Thanks, I think. Okay, anyway, the next friend is the super hot friend. All of my friends definitely fit into this category. I don't think I have one ugly friend, but we all have that friend who is like super uber hot, like celebrity hot. Like when it's daytime, I get confused because I don't know if I'm looking at the sun or if I'm looking at this friend. They could stand next to the sun and the sun might blink. You guys know who I'm talking about. Whenever you walk with them in the mall, you always get stares. And you know that they are looking at you. Cause they're looking at your hot AF friend. <laughs> That's a fact. Like all the girls or the guys are madly in love with them. And to make it worse, they don't even know how hot they are. By the way, this is a pet peeve of mine. When a hot friend doesn't know how hot they are. Like don't do that. You know you're hot, so just accept it. Don't make me say, oh, you're so hot. It made me feel worse about myself, okay? Thank you very much. At some point in your relationship with this friend, you may have even had a crush on them. But you played it off because the friendship was more important to you. You didn't go after it because you didn't want to lose them. To your regret. <laughs> what? <sighs> it's just that, like, you could never, ever be this friend. Like, I just want to clarify, like, everyone, Marie is definitely not this friend. Uh, 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 I, I don't know about that. I, I could be this friend, I mean. <sighs> okay, let's just move on. Hey, alter ego, you may recognize yourself in this friend. This friend is the Debbie Downer friend. <laughs> they are sweet, they are nice, they may even be a good friend. But for some reason, they always have something negative to say about everything. Now, don't get me wrong, these are good friends to complain to. They'll let you get out all that ranting energy and more often than not, they'll rant along with you. But these are also the friends who complain all of the time. They never have a can-do it attitude. They always see the negative, never have anything nice to say, and they always just generally get on my nerves. You can't spend all of your time with this person because generally you'll just end up feeling depressed and seeing things in a much more negative light. And they always have to one-up you. If you had a bad day, they had it better. If you had a bad friend, they had a worse friend. It's just how the game goes until you're tired of being second place to their problems. Jeez. Each of your rants ends with something so negative. It's like you never have anything positive to say. Another friend, and this friend I'm going to have to admit is me. 
definitely me. This friend is the Snapchatter friend. Now, already, this person spends way too much time on their phone. Like, I know all millennials spend way too much time on their phone, but this person spends all of their moments living, dying, breathing, sleeping on their phone. If they had a choice between a million dollars and their phone, they would take their phone. Like, this person is just way too attached. So, if anything interesting happens, guess who is going to be the first friend to post it? If this friend is around, then nothing fun you do will go undocumented. They will be the ones making sure that the rest of the world knows that you did it. Turn it up to the Spongebob trap remix in the car video. Humiliating yourself in front of your crush for the 10th time that day? Captured and tweeted. Working on your bed and your underwear with a rolled up magazine as a microphone? It will be on their story faster than you can say Miley Cyrus. Meeting a famous person? You better hope that it all fits into 10 seconds before you Okay, I thought you had gone. I did. Okay, and then I came back. Ugh. You know I'm just you, right? Yeah. Except for a happier you. I have lemonade. <sighs> the sad thing is, this person is so busy Snapchatting that they don't even get to experience it themselves. During the party, they're so worried about getting the perfect picture or Snapchat thing, whatever, that they miss out on the fun. This person just doesn't know how to live in the moment. They always forget to be in the moment. Anyways, there's always that one friend that you forget is there. Like literally, you would not know that they existed. In the group chats, they never speak. Like never. In the car rides, they'll sit in the back, in the shadows, in the very small corner. Occasionally, they'll make a comment or two, but for the most part, they just sit back and observe. So be careful, because this person knows everything about you. They are usually amazing at reading situations and people because they spend a lot of time not talking. And often, you learn a lot more by not talking. Hey, you! When did you get here? I've been here the whole time. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. Isn't that a little cheesy? What? Using quiet person to demonstrate the fact that there's a quiet friend? I mean, how come you remember her now and not during, let's say, Snapchat friend? It just seems a little weird. Well, that's besides the point. Okay, the last friend is by far the most annoying friend. Just kidding, sort of, I think. Mm. If you wanna say adorable, cute, Sweetie, cutie, this person is all of them. This person is the same age as you, but for some reason, they're treated as if they were four. When people are around them, they are just awed by their adorableness. Grandmas and aunties just wanna pinch their cheeks, and everyone just wants to add them to their doll collection. They could straight up be 25 years old, and everyone would just wanna hug them and love on them. And I'm over here like, you, I'm here too. Found out the hard way that no one really cares. They always get along with everyone. You can see them for their faults, their good days and their bad days. However, they can do nothing wrong in anyone else's eyes. They could straight up fart on someone's face and the person would want to take them home to cuddle like a stuffed kitten. The only problem is if you're their close friend, you know how much of a demon that they can really be. But if you try to explain the situation to someone else, it's like trying to explain why Hitler hated the Jews and you're Hitler. That's how offended everyone else would get. And that's it for types of friends. I know that's not a lot of friends, but I could not fit all the many different types of wonderful personalities in the world into this video. And I'm growing up, guys. Along with my acting videos, I'm going to start incorporating some new kind of weekly life advice, life stories, funny stuff videos about me and I'm definitely going to start doing this on a more regular basis. And this video is definitely based on all of my real life friends and I'm actually planning on sharing it to see if any of them can recognize themselves in this video and I suggest that you do the same. And leave your suggestion below so you can tell me what video you want to see next. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate hearing from you guys no matter what. If you just want to say hi, what's up, what's going on, what's popping, just tell me your name, introduce yourselves to me do so below whatever you want to say you could just say you could just say uh 
I like kitties below, or I like puppies, or I like iguanas. I don't, I don't care. I just love to hear from you guys. And please share this video, like it if you liked it, and um, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Our goal is to get 2,000, so let's work on this together. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I love you all so much. Ciao. Say ciao, guys. Why do I have to say ciao? Ciao is weird. Because I say it at the end of all of my videos. It's my thing. Why do you need a thing? <sighs> because all YouTubers have a thing. Then is it really a thing if everyone does it? Just say it. <sighs> Quiet one, would you like to say something? Ciao. Okay then. Ciao guys. I'm still not gonna say it.